Today our program is all about finding your superpower. I'm going to give you some tips and tools for both you and your child. Here we go. There are different definitions of superpower. And of course, we all know the special skills and abilities of superheroes like Spider-Man and Wonder Woman who can jump extremely high or swing from buildings. This is different. What we are talking about is a person's unique skill, a special trait or characteristic, or doing something that you're passionate about. For both you and your child, you can find something special about yourself that helps you do good in your life and makes you feel special, happy, and confident. Many young kids don't really know their strength just yet and are just discovering things about themselves. For some older kids, they may even feel like they don't have any. Children and even adults will look at others and compare themselves. For both children and adults, we sometimes feel lacking in qualities that we see in other people. Having a lack of belief in our own positive qualities and strength can affect our emotional well-being and for children especially. It can prevent them from achieving their full potential. Here are some tips you can do to help your child discover their strength and superpower. Using children's books is a great opportunity to talk your children about character strength that you will uncover in the story you're reading together. Our program books this month all have an underlying positive message that focuses on characters who discover and display strength and virtues. When reading stories together, Find opportunities to emphasize moments of strength and special skills. For instance, you could say, look how brave she is, or he is so kind to help out a friend. Ask your child to try and identify some special strength and characters in books we are reading and ask them what they think is special about the characters. Next. Help your child self-reflect on their own character strength. Using the term superpower helps keep things simple for your child and keeps the conversation fun and interesting. Ask your child what they think their superpower is. Have fun with it. Perhaps they will say that they are super fast or they might say, I gave the best hugs and give them plenty of positive reinforcement. And grown-ups, as parents and caregivers, don't forget how amazing you are. You're performing extraordinary tasks every single day. Remind yourself of your own strength and your ability to bring your family together and supporting each member's needs and helping them feel special, happy, and confident. Today, I will be reading the story of I Will Be Fierce. Today, I will be fierce. I will answer the call to adventure. I will put on my armor. I will fill my treasure chest. Look, her armor is her clothes and her treasure box is her backpack. I will go forth to explore the world. Today, I will be fierce. I will take on the monsters that stand in my way. Look, these dogs are barking at her and they look so mean to her. I will drive back the dragons. Look, what happened? She blew bubbles and all the dogs are so happy now. I will dare to walk with the giants. I will charge the many-headed serpent. Today, I will be fierce. I will chart my own course. I will climb the mountain of knowledge. Look, do you see her mountain of knowledge? Is that the stack of the book? I will trick the guardian of wisdom into revealing secrets. I will solve the mysterious of the unknown. Look, she's working so hard. Today, I will be fierce. 
I will break away from the ordinary. Look her drawing. She is riding a turtle. That's her cape. I will stand up for my beliefs. I will build new bridges. I will search for light in the darkness. Look, she's dancing in the rain. Have you done that? When you do it, remember to wear your boots. Today, I will be fierce. I will claim my victory. I will conquer my fears. I will make my voice heard. I will be the hero of my story. Look, it's show and tell day. Do you have that at your school too? Today, I will be fierce. I will lead the way home, and then I will rest. Look, now she's at home and she's resting with Grandma and her little kitty. For tomorrow, I will be fierce again. That's the end of the story. We're gonna do. Five little monkeys. Okay, ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkeys jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good job!
you all for watching our program video this month. Remember to keep reading, playing, 